<laughs> so, anyways, the Chamorro people are, are very influential in America. I don't know if you guys know this, but we're the ones that invented the AM and the PM when we're telling time. Did you know that? Because AM night is for after my book, and PM is for para my book. <laughs> And then the Filipinos said, oh yeah, you guys think you're, 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 you're cool? Wait a minute, because we invented the PS in the end of the letter. The PS stands for, oops, poor got something. <laughs> Send more money. <laughs> PS, poor got something. Send more money. <laughs> so, anyways. Another thing that uh, really makes you think about uh, about this Chamorro people when they're talking is the English that we speak, okay? And, and I love the Chamorro culture. I was raised by my grandparents and I was scolded when I spoke English. So I speak Chamorro fluently. But sometimes I, 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 I you know, struggle to understand what my elders are trying to say when they speak English to me because of the fact that I was raised speaking tomorrow. So I went to my new house and I thought he was mad at me because when I opened the door he goes, come in boy, you want to eat this? I thought he wanted to punch me. Do you want to eat this? I said, no Nino, what did I do? Did someone tell me again? So, anyways, we, we, we ate fish and crab that night. And, uh, wait again, because <laughs> the beer is, is working. Oh! When I was a, a little boy, because now I'm a big little boy, when I was a little boy, my auntie took me to her friend's house. Who here is from Agat? I guess they don't allow Agat people in there. <laughs> or maybe they don't want to admit it. So anyways, we were there at, at my, my auntie's friend's house when I was only a little kid. And I was wondering why we were there, because normally we, we don't go to his place on the weekday, only on the weekend. Come to find out that my auntie and her boyfriend were fighting, so she wanted to hide from him. So not long, we hear a big pounding on the door, bang, 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 bang. And it was my auntie's boyfriend. And she said, let me in, let me in, I know that Lydia's in there. So. My auntie's friend, his name is Benito Nle, from Agat. He says, uh, Mariano, you cannot come in my house because you don't have a search warning. <laughs> <laughs> so, I was wondering, what is a search warning? <laughs> is that different from an arrest warning? <laughs> I'm warning you. We're going to get arrested. Okay, let's go back to the four rings of marriage. Who can tell me the four rings of marriage? No one? You got the engagement ring. Then the wedding ring. Then the suffering. And what's the last one? That, that's not a ring, that's a ring. <laughs> that divorce here ring. <laughs> so that's the four rings of marriage. Awesome. Uh, uh, so, how we do? Where's Dave? How we doing on time? <laughs> Ten minutes ago. <laughs> Anyways. Huh? Anyways.
Anyways, so who is from Rhoda? Anyone want to admit that? Rhoda, Rhoda, people. No, Rhoda, people. Okay, population one. Cocos Island, population one. And that's just the uh, Panglao that's on there. So anyways, my friend Janice Apatag, and this is a true story, and she, she knows that I tell this joke. This is, close your eyes again, because it's a nasty joke. So, we went to a party, and she's from Rhoda, and she's very, very shy. So, she's, we're speaking in Chamorro, you know, and for the benefit of those who don't speak Chamorro, I'll speak in Chamorro. Like, you know, I don't know if I'm going to ask you to ask you. She said, I'm, I'm a little bit embarrassed to go to the table. Can you please make my food for me? So I looked at her and like, thinking, is she just trying to pull one over my eyes? So I said, okay, whatever, I'll be a nice guy. So I went and I, I fixed her her food. So not long later, a guy that she had a crush on came to the party. And he's a black guy. And so I said in Chamorro, Janis, and I said, they fight in Sidaro. Now, how come I'm going to move to my guy? Did you miss a second? Put it like that. In English, I said, Janis, I'm going to ask uh, Daryl if it's true what they say about black men. And she got crazy. She said, No, you better not. You better not. So Daryl heard his name. He said, Hey, hey I heard my name. What are you saying? I said, Janice wants to know if it's true what they say about black men. I said, no, 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 don't listen to him. He's lying, he's lying. I said, she wants to know if it's true that you guys don't know how to swim. <laughs> and she turned red. And I said, Janice, what were you thinking? <laughs> I heard that black guys don't know how to swim. <laughs> All right, one more hand for Pete Santos. <laughs> Thank you.